What's up everyone? Kristen Nicole here and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've already been here. Um, before we get too far into this video, go ahead and subscribe below if you have not and like and turn a little notification thingy majigger on so you actually catch my videos when they first come out. Today we are going to talk about the name change and what to expect from the name change. So I recently changed my name from Kristen Nicole Cosplay to Kristen Nicole Creative. And that is because I wanted to be more inclusive in all of the stuff that I actually do. Because I'm not just a cosplayer. And I felt like limiting myself to just cosplay really limited the stuff that I was comfortable posting. So creative is just there to show all of the fun stuff that I am interested in and I enjoy doing. My entire life I've been a photographer. I've been behind a camera since I had my little Pikachu camera back when I was a kid and I've always enjoyed it. I love taking pictures of my friends, I love taking pictures on set, I love just photography in general. So that is going to be one of the things that I am going to be sharing. For the rest of my stuff, the reason why creative is so important to me is because my cosplay journey started way before I actually started cosplaying, per se. Um, when I was 15, I started acting, and that was a very strange thing for me because I was a very quiet kid, and I decided one day, I want to act! It's a weird decision for me. Um, and through my acting studio, I got to do production work as well. And I fell in love with actually creating film and creating skits and creating like photography and all of that stuff. It was so much fun. So through acting and production, I had to have headshots, which introduced me to photographers. So by 19, I was doing portfolio work for a local photographer and it was so much fun and I absolutely loved it and then he was working on a project that was you know Disney princesses but it wasn't like cosplay in the sense of what I do now it was just hey what do you have in your co your closet to dress up as your favorite Disney princess and being blonde I had a big blue ball gown looking thing from my junior prom and I was like I'll do Cinderella so through the process of getting ready for this photo shoot, I fell in love with creating costume stuff. I had never really done this before outside of like Halloween, which has always been my favorite holiday, but it was a new experience for me and it sparked this like flame. From that photo shoot, I found a convention Acon 2013 and I put together my first cosplay, Sailor Moon, naturally. I've been obsessed with Sailor Moon my entire life. And I started cosplaying in 2013. And it was like the biggest change in my life and it was so much fun. Whenever I started hanging out with my friends in 2015. I started sewing and I started creating props and I started doing way more than just putting on a costume and taking photos. So I've also been into cosmetology school. I have a cosmetology license and I went to makeup school. So like I have this rainbow of fun stuff that I enjoy doing and I want to be able to showcase all of it. And besides the fact that I think that showing people how to, how we create our videos and create our photo shoots and everything would, it's just so much fun and it's a unique point of view that a lot of people don't actually get to see. With YouTube, I started YouTube in 2015, my first vlog, really can't even call it a vlog, it was just like a video of mashed up stuff from A Fest in 2015, and it was so much fun. I love having the memories that I can just go back and look at and be like, look at all my cool friends, look at all the stuff we were doing. Like, this is so much fun. So, from con vlogs, I started filming photo shoots because I thought they were just very interesting on how photo shoots happen because it's really different with everybody. Um, each photographer that I work with have their 
own unique way of working and each photo shoot that I go on is different in my opinion. I have different experiences every time. So I started filming those and I also started filming behind the scenes with um, other channels projects that I was working on. I never really thought about doing skits or any of that for my channel. I was afraid <laughs> of doing that. But I enjoy, you know, the, the behind the scenes process because it's just something that I've always been passionate about and I've always loved, you know, showing how much work really goes into a 10 minute video on YouTube because it's not just you sit down and you film for 10 minutes and well bam. There's so much that goes into these videos and these skits and these CMVs and, you know, weekend long projects and I wanted people to be able to see the process a little bit at least. Moving forward, what you can expect out of this channel so you know what you're getting yourself into when you subscribe and what you have to look forward to for being subscribed to this channel. First and foremost, it will be a lot of behind the scene. You'll see photo shoots, you'll see skits, you'll see CMVs, all of the stuff being created. You'll see all of the stuff in the process. We'll be starting skits sometime in the fall and I'm so looking forward to it. I'm so excited. I have all of these like ideas and I'm just like, yes, finally I'm in a place where I feel comfortable doing this. We will also be filming CMVs. I'm equally as excited as this as I'm equally as excited for CMVs as I am for skits because I've, I've tried before and I've never felt like it worked out and now I'm having I'm gaining so much more knowledge the farther into the stuff that I am and I'm so excited to be able to use that knowledge to film the stuff that I've always wanted to film like CMVs because they are so much fun. Of course you'll have the photo shoots in and out of cosplay whether or not I'm modeling, I'm cosplaying, or I'm taking the photos it'll be an array of all three. I will be doing sit down Q&As. I will pick a topic, ask questions on Instagram, and then share my answers, share my conversation with y'all. Um, I am really excited about this. I already have several planned. I already have one filmed. I'm super excited about. Uh, I miss conventions. When cons come back, we will be doing con vlogs, and I can't wait to be able to get back into those. And then guides. That'll be the last major thing that I will be filming, like my wigs and my makeup. I won't be really be, really be doing tutorials because I'm not good at teaching, but I can show y'all what I use and you can make your educated decisions off of that. <laughs> I am going to be posting some videos that otherwise I wouldn't have felt comfortable posting because when I have the cosplay name everybody's like, but this isn't cosplay. Well, now it's creative and I have no limits because it's creative work. Also, before I wrap this up, I just have to say thank you for 2K. I recently hit 2K and that's just honestly mind boggling to me. I hope you'll stick around for all of the fun stuff that we have planned and thank you for bearing with me as long as however long y'all have been here. I really appreciate y'all and like I love making content so I'm really excited to be able to share more content with y'all. To view photo shoots, follow my Facebook page which is Kirsten Nicole Creative. If you want to see like story posts, daily posts and everything, follow my Instagram which is Kristen Nicole Creative as well. All of my platforms are the same to make it nice and easy for everyone. Um, but I do post full photo shoots and I do post daily stories at the bare minimum on Instagram. So check those out. Follow, like, whatever you do on those for their respective thing. Um, yeah. Thank you, and I look forward to what we have coming. Bye. Are we doing spirit fingers now? Yeah, sure. Spirit fingers, oh my god. My social media over to Kristen, no Kristen Nicole Creative. And <laughs> oh, dogs. <laughs> thought about getting outside of con vlogs. Um, 
first and foremost, for, first and foremost, um, my brain just like, oh, oh, that's so sweet.